on the road Must have a code That you can live by And so Become yourself Because the past Is just a goodbye Teach your children well Their father's hell Did slowly go by And feed them on your dreams The one they picked The one you know by And can you hear me? Your elders grew by, and so please help them with your youth. They see the truth before they can die. Teach your parents well, their children's hell will slowly go by. Them on your dreams The one they picked The one you know by Teach your parents well Their children's hell Will slowly go by And feed them on your dreams The one they picked, the one you know by. Don't you ever ask them why, if they told you you would cry. So just look at them and sigh. And know they love you. This is the decision I have made. In cooperation with the armed forces of South Vietnam, attacks are being launched this week to clean out major enemy sanctuaries on the Cambodian-Vietnam border. Just say what you said to us last night, you'll be fine. You don't know what happens. When I was 12 years old, I had to give a speech in Girl Scouts. She sold more cookies than any girl in Moline. That's why I married Anyway, so, so I had this sweet little speech all memorized and whammo. I go up there, see spots, and recite perfectly the Gettysburg Address. I've always thought of it as a not much coming down around here, huh? I'm going to send a telegram for Nixon. Are you kidding? About the speech, how I feel about it. How do you feel? A lot of things. Hurt. Angry, mostly. I had to write it out about five times just to control myself. Think he reads me? Are you kidding? If he did, he couldn't make a speech like the one he did last night. Probably just gives him the Trisha to make paper dolls out of. 
automatic genocide of the Black Panthers, okay? And the contempt oh, charges... God, it's every day. And the contempt charges that will land the Chicago 8 in the slammer because they told the truth. That's all. We call this um, hi. What's this all about? Oh, uh, Nixon's speech last night. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I saw it. I was, I was in my room practicing drums for this uh, summer gig, and, uh, and there he was. Do you see it? The speech? Yeah. Um, so you're, you're, like, you're really angry, right? Yeah. Sure, I guess so. What made you say that? Your hair. I, I mean, no, no offense, but you've got real radical hair, you know. That's just my hair. I'm not political. Do I know you? No, I mean, well, uh, <laughs> I've seen you, but I don't. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely, uh, definitely seen you, but uh, I don't know you. <laughs> uh, so, I, I uh, guess I'll, I'll see you. Listen, Duke, pay attention. I am. I am who? You're doing it again. You're not saying my name because you think you're going to embarrass yourself. I'm not going to laugh at you. I'm just trying okay. to... Okay, okay. Fandy. Fandy. Good, that's very good. But the placement of your tongue is still incorrect. It should hit where your upper teeth and gums meet. Hard. I know it is, but I... You're doing so well, I promise you. Ten more lessons in your Richard Burton. <laughs> going to the rally? Me? <laughs> Don't you care? Well, sure, I care. I care about helping people. And, uh, my family and my friends. And, uh, <laughs> grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, sure, I care. Then come. Um, I mean, uh, I am, I'm against the war and all, people getting killed, but when it comes to standing around with a lot of Strangers, I don't know. The question is, how much longer are we going to let our government go on as murderers all over the world? And the answer must be, no longer! Yeah. All power to the people! Give me with a live on it. Okay, we're all here today because we care, right? And because we want all our voices to become one voice. And say, no more genocide. No more napalm. No more Nixon.
Hey, Billy, I'm going to the rally. You want to come? No, I got ROTC class. What? See, look, Nixon just invaded... Tommy. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Bill Schroeder, Eagle Scout, never even had a zit in his life. Listen, I had a zit once. Asked my mom. It was uh, June 1967. Okay, well, then you can come with me. Why? Because it makes a point that not only scuzz bombs and freaks are against the war, but zitless wonders like yourself. Yeah. Hell no! Hell no! We won't go! Hell no! We won't go! Well, are you going? Nah. Look, it's important, Billy. That... Look, Tommy, I feel the same way about the war as you do. But standing around screaming about it just doesn't do any good. Hey, watch it. Oh, I got bad knees. Oh, I'm sorry. It's OK. I crown you pie pie. But I'm uh, not a frat guy. I'm sorry about your knees. Sorry about your knees. <laughs> I'm in love. You see this dog? Well, his name is Buster. And you know what we're gonna do to Buster? We're gonna napalm it. Oh, yeah! I turned the dog! We got some napalm over here, and we're gonna pour it all over the little fella. Yeah! 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 You try it, fella, and I'll napalm you. Action to save the life of this little dog, but you won't take action to save the lives of those little children who are being napalmed over there every day, man. That's right. This is just one little dog, but Nixon and Kissinger and all the pigs have really done it to thousands and thousands of people. Maybe on the other side of the world, but it's your world. That's right. If you're man enough to say no for this dog, then say no for that world. All right. All right. All right. We have to understand something. We're up against powers we can't even begin to imagine. We're up against multi- You better take his nap, honey. Just one thing in mind. You promise you won't freak while I'm going? Four score and seven years ago. See, I'm fine. You promise you won't freak while she's gone? We even up against ourselves, some of us. Bye, all. That's the worst danger we face. Because there are some of us even many of us out here today who say, I just don't care. It just doesn't affect me. But it does. See that. Because you can turn yourselves around before it's too late. Before you turn into the plastic zombie they want you to be. Right on! Let's go. Up. Hey, Ted. Oh, hi, Glenn. Up. Wait a second. Here. Whoop. Hey. Eat your boo. I see you. <laughs> Looks more like you every day, Ted. Oh. Yeah, you got your hair mm -hmm. and my eyes. It's Tom Hayden's chin. Rally, Monday at noon. Oh, thank you. Hey, Leora. Hey, you know that girl went to school with my kids? Huh? Yeah, when she was little, she had that eye patch. What do you call it? A lazy eye. That's it. You see the speech? Yeah, in the papers. I just think about my sons and all these kids out here today. You be at the rally Monday? Yeah, I'd like to know what's going on. <laughs> it's more than I can say for most of our distinguished colleagues. Oh, come on. Ted. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot my mistake. 1912 in the great state of Ohio. Well, it takes time for the earth to change. Well, the geology department, eh? Well, that's the way I see things. No poetry, Ted, just rocks and minerals. As a matter of fact, when you first came here, you looked like me. Oh. Yeah, short hair and a briefcase. Hey, I don't have a briefcase. <laughs> yeah, my father's son. What changed you? Chicago. 68. Had to grow my hair long to cover the scar from the riot stick. What about you, Glenn? Where do you stand? Well, you know the white line that runs down the middle of the road? Even after last night? I don't know. We're saying yes to change, 
and yes to a world of peace, and yes to a future that will not be stained by the blood of the innocent. All right, that's, uh, that's it for today. You're doing terrific. Now, I just want you to say... Come on. Come on who? Come on. Sandy. Super. You win. Next week, she sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> I'll see you Monday. Okay. Guess who? I hope it's Paul Newman. No, it's this double. Oh, Jeff Miller. Uh-huh. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. Do you know there's nothing going on here? I should have gone to Wisconsin or Oberlin or something. The rally dog? They were pretending to uh, napalm a little dog. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'm just out of it. I don't know, but I don't even know why people go to those things. Nobody listens. <laughs> so, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, um, getting married, honeymooning in Rome, washing all the hair. Would you like to come to dinner tomorrow? Yes, I would. Can I uh, bring in? Yeah, a ten-pound rib roast, okay? Okay. Here's Gene Arnold, whose husband Ted should probably know. Gene's a PA in the English department, and she asked especially to speak today. I'm not very good at this. Uh, talking like this. In fact, I'm terrible at it. But after watching it last night, the speech, I had to say something. I have to say something because I ask myself who I am. And the first thing I thought of was, I'm an American. That was the first. And I am hurt as an American that our country can keep leading us into this heart of darkness we know this war to be. And that's the political part. The personal part, and I guess the reason why I got up here today is I'm a mother. <laughs> My baby's only eight months old, so things are still pretty cold between us. <laughs> and when he's your age, he'll think his dad and I are full of it because well, that's the law of nature, that we grow apart from those who love us the most. But like I say, I am a mother and an American. And I don't care who you are out there. I want you to listen to your children. Please, just open your hearts and hear them, because they are telling the truth. class. Oh, what class is that? You know what class. Oh, Razi class? Today, students, we will learn how to kill and maim. Tommy. Oh, and excuse me, for tonight's homework, I'd like you all to uh, burn an entire village in the name Look, of truth, justice, and the Always America. remember, I am much bigger than you Look, are. Look, you got right? eyes, you heard her talk, and you're in freaking Razi. Yeah, and I... you know why. Okay, all right. You got a Razi scholarship. Give me a break. I forget sometimes. And I'll say it. What? Come on, say Bill. Bill. Come on, say Bill. Bill, you're not a fascist. Come on, like you mean no, it. No, I swear you're not a fascist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see you when I get back from fascist class. See you, Kyle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Tom Dumpling, my son Jai, went to bed with a stocking on. One shoe off, one shoe on, did a little dumpling, my son Jai, to the people. So don't hide your light underneath the covers. Come on out and let it shine. Let's go here. We can send a telegram in the morning. Well, what's the big rush? You want to hang around here? Well, what do you want to do? As if I didn't know. <laughs> we could go see Easy Rider again. We've seen it nine times. We've seen Water Street 900. <laughs> hey, sorry. And what's Huey got to do with anything? We're destroying this society to create a better. You're going to need more than a spray can. Rats. <laughs> Come back when your voice changes. Thanks. <laughs> hey. How old are you? 18. Yeah, you got any proof? I look old enough. You ever hear of Adley Stevenson? No. Better stay out of there till you do. Fascist. You win. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, nice shot. And I'm Jack Hearn on hand to tell you that we've got ourselves a contest for the rest of this series. It's going to be something. What do you think Mick Jagger's doing there? All there? He's next to our Mickey's. Thank you, 3.3. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, man. Get out of the way. Hey, we can't see the game. Hey, you stupid jocks. He drove to the free throw line. He stops, turns his back on the basket, feeds it out of the front of the Frazier. Frazier to Barnett. Both of them pass that ball over the corner to Bradley. Yeah, we got a great view of your back, but uh, no offense. It's just not as good as Jerry West, OK? Frazier, Dave, the busher, the muscular man, drives along the baseline, puts it up, and a beautiful layup over Happy Hairston, and the next get another deuce. Play basketball. Yeah, sometimes. Throws a bounce pass into the post to Will hey. Chamberlain. We should get a game up. Someday, huh? Yeah. Jerry West gets high. Everybody gets high, Schroeder. <laughs>
ride down on Water Street. Nah, ain't no ride. It's just Friday night. Well, they're setting cars. Get these brand new equipment. Kids. Hey, Space Ranger? Kids, where are you, Sir, you might want to alert the National Guard. National Guard? What about the state police? What if this thing gets out of hand? Just an alert, sir. But well, we they're need... in Akron with the truckers. That's strike. just a couple of units. We'll set a curfew. Pick some men, go down to Water Street. Close the bars down. Now the Knickerbockers come down to attack. Bill Bradley has the ball, and off of the dribble, he goes under the air for a 19-foot jumper. It's no good. Lots of top two play on Thomas Reed. Chainsaw gets the rebound. The big man fires to Jerry West, and they all right. Come on, come on, come on. Go! Fire! Get bad news to you guys. All the bars are closed. Hit it! 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 Hit it!
Satrum. Mayor Satrum. Yeah. Look, things are getting out of hand. You gotta get up. What time is it? It's about 3.30. In the morning? There's something wrong, Daddy? You okay? Is it Mama? Oh, we were okay, son. I'll talk to you in the morning. I've only had one hour sleep. You and uh, Linda have fun? Mm-hmm. She got a promotion at the drugstore. She's selling makeup or something. <laughs> Thing again, I guess. Uh -uh. I'm on pass. Get dressed, son. That's all I know. Well, you say what for? You know what for. You know what for is I stay in the guard, I stay out of noms. What for? Cody? Yeah, You're a good boy. Hell, look at the size of you. You're a good man. Next couple of days, when you really get some time, I've been meaning to talk to you about the garden this year. Making the peas this summer. Sweet green ones. And the tomatoes again, too. The flowers I leave to your mother. But you and me, we're men. We put the food on the table. Right, son? Ten, shut! Right shoulder, hearts! Left shoulder, hearts! Present, hearts! On guard! Why are you screaming? Paul, he's on a bad acid trip. Uh -oh. No, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, I'm fine. No, no, look, I didn't even hear about that till this morning. Yeah, uh, my, my girlfriend told me. Uh, she's just this girl I know. Um, uh, uh, Jessica's uh, something. No, yeah, of course I know her last name. Um, Greenwald. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Jessica Greenwald is her last name. Uh-huh. Uh, look, Mom, I swear to you, I'm all right. But I promise, if anything comes up, I'll give you a call, okay? I'll call you right away. Okay. Yeah, I love you, too. All right, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <coughs> Jessica Greenwald is my girlfriend. It's our job as faculty marshals to not in any way try to stop or cause an event to happen. To do what, Glenn? Do not in any way try to stop or cause an event to happen. Event? If there is one. Well, has anyone noticed the ROTC building this morning? They've already smashed a window. I know. Now look, we all know the ROTC building's not worth what it costs to tow it away, but it is a symbol of something. I'd like to make a suggestion. And it may be that its time has come. I mean, just this week, they've already tried to torch the ROTCs at the University of Illinois and the University of Maryland. Our job is with the students, not with the buildings. 
I want all of us as people who care about this place and what happens to these kids to get out and talk to them. That's all. Just let them know we're here. Good point. In case. Just in case. In case of what? We're talking generalities, guys. If this was a course, we'd all flunk. And we've got to do something. I don't care what it is, but we've got to make some kind of a plan, a, a, a statement against the war, a, a position paper, or, or a, a caucus with the student leaders, but something. That'll be hard until we know what the truth is. The truth is that we don't know what the truth is here today. The truth is we'd better watch the hell out. We're trying to find a reasonable approach. These aren't reasonable times, Glenn. Seems reasonable enough this morning, Mr. Arnold. Oh, it's 8.15, sir. A lot can come down between now and 8.16. <laughs> I defer to my distinguished junior colleague's experience in these matters and to his colorful use of the vernacular. If we could go on. In my day, on a Saturday morning in May, we took young ladies out on Moon Lake, tossed a nickel into the water, and prayed for a kiss. <laughs> Not your day, sir. That may be. And we're not... Uh throwing nickels into Moon Lake. We're talking about saving Kent State. Aren't you being a bit melodramatic, Professor Warren, I've been there. We will be very lucky if we get away with... So far this morning, we are lucky. Maybe our students' behavior on Water Street last night will soon be a bad but distant memory. I hope so. Ladies and gentlemen, may I remind you of the words of Fabius Maximus. Do nothing and hope the enemy fades away. There is no enemy. Who's the enemy in this kind of thing, Professor? Look at Ohio State, look, look at Berkeley, look at Harvard. If you look around. No, no, collect from Alice Sun. Hello? Daddy? Hi. How are you? What do you mean I sound like I'm all alone? Come on, Daddy. I just heard about it. I came home early. I didn't want you and mommy to worry. That's why I called. Sure, I think it's bad making small businessmen suffer and all. Well, look, anyway, Daddy, it's like I've been telling you, it'll be good for me to leave Kent, you see? Um, uh, yeah, Daddy. Could we talk about that later? Yeah. I love you. Now tell, tell Mommy the same. I'll call her later, okay? Right. Right, bye. My parents. You know, when I talk to them now, I want them to think that I'm this really great, far-out adult person. I always wound up sounding like this little girl. I can't help it. Mm -hmm. Well, hell, it doesn't look too bad in the light of day, does it? Uh, sir, uh, we just got a call at the station house. And? Someone we can trust. Yeah. Says, uh, says they're gonna burn ROTC tonight, sir. Oh, Ernie, they've been saying that ever since I've been on the force. I just spoke to General Del Corso. Yeah. If you want guard troops, you've got till five to call Columbus. Till five, sir. Just hold on. Same source says they're gonna pour in here tonight, sir. Outside agitators. Gonna hit the post office. Gonna put LSD in the water supply. LSD. You believe that? You've got till five.
Why would they do that? You didn't hear anything? Mm -mm. I woke up late and my radio's broken. All oh, the windows are smashed. You should see it. The storekeepers are ready to kill the first Kent kid they see. How's that? Don't stop. Oh, here's my mother. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Ma. It must be 300 degrees in that car. Stepped to the seat all the way from Youngstown. Oh, let me look at you. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> you remember Sharon, huh, Ma? Daddy and I have been sick. Ma, worrying. Mom, I'm here. Me, Sandy, so relax, okay? Hi, Mrs. Scheuer. You keep this one out of trouble for me. You're sensible, I can tell. Oh, it's the other way around. Mm. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you should have seen the traffic. If I had a car, I If could... you had a car, you could get in a nice accident like your friend did. End up in a hot, sticky brace for six months. <laughs> Brought your summer clothes? Oh, great! Oh, you found it! <laughs> is very hot. I made tea. Instant? Real. Good. I hate instant. I'll take you to lunch. Yeah, Mom. I drive 30 miles. I have to type this paper for Professor Widener for Monday. I told you that. When you type, I'll make lunch. You see? You see? Oh, says parents and children can't communicate. I'll try to be modern. Sure, Ma, make lunch. <laughs> Actually, I don't make much lunch while you're away. Me, I have a little, a little cottage cheese, a little tomato, which reminds me. <laughs> Why does cottage cheese remind you of this? I just thought you might find this interesting. Mindy Kugelman is getting married, so... Isn't that a lovely engagement picture? Well, gee, Ma, it really doesn't do her justice. She doesn't look four months pregnant. Mandy. Let's eat. I have to... I have to work. Sandy? It's just because we love you. Ma, we'll both make lunch. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Mayor Leroy Satrum in Kent. Uh, we have reason to believe there may be arson, uh, acts of arson uh, on campus uh, tonight. Yes, I'm requesting the uh, National Guard here tonight. My men can't handle it. What? Uh, the, uh, the curfew is in effect. Thank you. What do you call it? Spaghetti. A sauce. Bottled. <laughs> Chef Mussolini or something like that. So, anyway, Woodstock. What were you doing Woodstock on Saturday? Um, the cousin's bar mitzvah. Okay. Um, how about... When Kennedy got killed. Which Kennedy? John. 
In the girls' gym at school? I lost my retainer and I was crying. And then the gym teacher came in and hugged me and said, it's all over. I thought she meant I would never find my retainer again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, I have one. What? Where were you for the moonwalk? Oh. Why? This is stowaway in the capsule. I went to the other side. The moon men are all green like in sci-fi books. They all have Ed McMahon's face. Ew. <laughs> but, um, anyway, um, I don't know, you know, it's all consistent, you know? I mean, big stuff happens, and <laughs> it's, it's never where you are. I mean, like, like with last night. I mean, if I ever write my autobiography, I'm gonna call it, uh, somewhere else. <laughs> Um, you got any more? Yeah. So, um, what are you doing tonight? Mm -hmm. I had a date. I mean, it's not a, a date date. No, I, 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 I kept the distinction. I'm meeting a friend. I have uh, a lot of friends. Well, if you're, uh, busy, I guess I'll just hang out. Maybe I'll, uh... See you later on campus. Jeff. Huh? Thank you for coming to dinner. Well, um, thank you for cooking it. Thank you for digesting it. <laughs> I, it's, I, it's just I always have a good time with you.
I don't understand why there are no cops here. of FDR's cabinet. Hold it. Yeah, let's go see what's happening. Just stay close to me, okay? Hey, I won't lose you. And I won't lose you. Have you seen my other sneaker? Nazi's being torched and there's no pigs around. But they're giving it to us deliberately. Sandy? What are you crazy? You're not gonna stay and watch? I'm going home. It's, it, it's perfectly safe. I've got to type my paper from Monday. It's got to be done. i just got to type it, okay? Razzi ever since they built it. Tommy, you can't just burn what you don't like. The whole world would be on fire. Brothers out. Let the white kids have their party. We're gonna watch it on TV. Where the hell are the police? Campus police are waiting around for someone to tell them what to do. State cops are president of White's house. White's in Iowa. Town cops aren't anywhere. I look at that old pile of burning junk, and all I can see is my old man, and his old man before him, and the grandchildren I don't have yet. And I wonder what the hell on this earth really matters.
circumstances. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Hello. Hey, uh, you know what you look like in that red shirt there? The, what? <laughs> a rose. <laughs> you guys really are a couple of comedians. <laughs> no, we, we, we work at Burger Bill's. You ever been there? Wesley here is the fry man. Oh, <laughs> oh and, and uh, Cal here does the shakes. <laughs> you guys care for an orange? Oh. No, thank you, ma'am. We can't. Why not? Well, at, at Berkeley, that school out in California, they, uh, students injected LSD into the oranges they gave the guardsmen. And, the guys went kind of nuts. <laughs> well, we just injected these with sweet and low. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's just sit down and talk this over quietly. Mr. Governor? Governor? Not now, son. One, two, three, 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 two, President White is on his way back from Iowa. You just let us worry about this. Governor Roy. Governor. Excuse Mr. Me, Governor. Governor. Governor, they're here from the school. You university people, stay out of this. We're taking over. Mr. Governor, 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 I'd like to have your attention, please. Just a second. If we close down the university and clear all those people we the hell out of We have got to keep this university open at all costs. To close it down would be to play into the hands of all the dissident elements that are trying to do just that. But, sir, uh, just how would, Mr. Is that clearly understood? Mr. Governor, please, sir. As President White's representative, I insist the university be included Governor in any Rhodes. decisions. Mr. Governor. Gentlemen, Governor we're going Rhodes. to adjourn for five minutes. Governor Rhodes. Excuse me, Governor Rhodes. Governor Rhodes. Rhodes. Governor. Mr. Governor. Governor Rhodes. Governor Rhodes. Governor Rhodes. Governor Rhodes. Governor, do I know you, young man? Ron Kane, County Prosecutor, Portage County. Glad to have you alone, sir. I'm glad to be alone, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Governor, I think you should close down this freaking place. No, no, no the university, sir, and no. fast before somebody gets shot. You get all of those kids and the guard the hell out of there. Then you gradually let things cool down, get back to normal. You know, there's this old saying we've got in criminal law. I don't want when to hear the blood anything. cools down, reason resumes control. Well, my blood will cool down. I because as of now, you've got one hell of a damn hostile situation. You've got a bunch of crazed up, frightened kids and an exhausted guard. And you don't have to be a freaking genius to see what comes next. So you clear everybody the hell out of there and you do it today. Young man, you have a wonderful control of the superlatives. Shut it down and the crazies have won. 
Yes, sir. Are there undercover agents on the Kent State campus? Yeah, but what about the guard? Aren't they dangerously tired from their duty with the Teamsters? As a law and order candidate behind in the polls, what do you really think your chances are of beating Bob Taft in the Tuesday primary? We have seen here, in the city of Kent especially, probably the most vicious form of campus-oriented violence yet perpetrated by the distant groups and their allies in the state of Ohio. Mr. Governor. No, it ceases to be a problem of the colleges of Ohio. This is now the problem of the state of Ohio. We are going to put a stop to this. We are going to employ every force of law that we have under our authority. We are going to eradicate the problem. We are not going to treat the symptoms. They want only one thing, and that is to destroy higher education in Ohio. These people just move from one campus to the other and terrorize the community. They're worse than the brown shirts and the communist element and also the night riders and the vigilantes. They are the worst type of people we harbor in America. Do we have sufficient numbers of National Guard and Highway Patrol? We have men that are well trained, but they're not trained to receive breaks. They won't take it. What will be the response? The next phase that we have encountered elsewhere is where they start sniping. The students, sir? They can expect us to return fire. When the uh, technic technique of uh, the weatherman and the SDS and the Student Mobilization Committee, when this is employed, and firebombing and violence, let me also say that death is not going to stand in their way in answer to their purposes. We are, we are going to employ everything that we possibly can to protect the buildings that are paid for by the taxpayers of the state of Ohio. Let me say this now. No one is safe in Portage County. Just that simple. No one is safe. We are going to disperse crowds. There is no sanctuary. Try and get a band up. Oh, yeah? yeah. Grateful guard? <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, what is it, huh? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You're sitting in a truck singing to yourself, man. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's just you and me and Harley, man. Remember high school? Oh, yeah. Now look at us. Here we are. You're doing your thing. Harley's doing his, and I'm still the same old me. God, you know, I feel like I've been 17 for six years. Like I still need a pass to go to the John. You see anybody out there to sing to? Yeah, me? You. Come on, man, a talented guy like you. Watch this. Uh, hey! Little girl? No, Cody, don't just trust me. Uh, free concert. Any requests? Uh, do you know Blackbird? Um, yeah, I think so. I always cry when I hear that. Want to all sing? <laughs> Far out. The same birthday, same year, same day. <laughs> the only difference is uh, you're a pig. You believe in astrology? Oh, I want to. Only whenever it says I'm going to meet a dark, mysterious lady, you know, I get all excited. And my mother calls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me about it.
keep you real busy, huh? They call you out for diddly. Some girl gets a hickey on her neck and her daddy calls out the guard. You know, I'm, I'm new to the guard. I just joined, but I know the guard's heavy. Hey, Jeff. Yeah? Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah, sure. I think I'd like it here. Oh, yeah, guys, with the guns are real popular. No, I mean... You know, I got plans. I was thinking that I could save up all the money that I make at this place, Burger Bills, where I work. Uh -huh. And that next year I could come here as a student. You know, I'm, I'm the fry man at Burger Bills. <laughs> I don't want to be the fry man there all my life. How will I know you? I mean, all you guys look the same in the dark. <laughs> Came out wrong. I'll be the one with the rose in my ear. You'll know me, little girl. You always call me that. Been to Europe twice. It's what they call a term of endearment. You're fast. You're pretty. And you're dead. Hey. Till tonight, little girl. I want to tell you something about me. Uh, it's not really about me, it's uh, about you. I don't understand you. I've tried and I can't understand you. And I don't hate you. I, I pity you. Not for what you are, but for what you'll never be. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to tell you something very interesting about me. It's really about you. I never forget a face. You've got a flower in your thing. We call it a barrel, man. You've got a flower in your barrel, Cody. You like Ken? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I see how you go. Come on, Allie, leave me alone. No, I don't mind. What kind of gun is it? It's uh, an M1. Is this where the guns go? Yes. It's right there. Into Nam? Nah. I'm only in the guard. I heard a weird thing the other day. You know, I, I heard that. Beaver Cleaver got killed in Vietnam. <laughs> Maybe it was wrong, I forget. Did you hear that? Yeah, sure I did. Yeah, you well, know, you know, it seems sometimes like the whole war's on TV, you know, like you can turn it on and off. You know what I heard? Paul McCartney's dead, too. <laughs> yeah, and if uh, you play Revolution Number 9 backwards, it says, War Holly is dead. <laughs> Do you believe it? Well, if I can believe I'm standing here holding a rifle while talking to you guys, I can believe anything. What's that in your weapon, mister? It's a gift, sir. Get rid of it. Now. Flowers are better than bullets, Cody. See you around. Remember where we are. We are 
the gates of our campus. So when we sit down, we sit down in peace. Just a little. It means something. It means something here, too. I want to be alone, okay? Hey. Don't grab me. Hey, let's go. No. Come on, let's just go. No, you don't want I to. I want to go. Come on. Barry, don't you want to be part of something like tonight that says no? I don't feel like a part of you right now. It's the same. I'm right here. Allie, things change. You don't. Everything does. Barry. Oh, come on, Allie. Everything changes. Barry? Are you leaving me? No, I... I'm jealous. about things that take you away. Sorry I said that. Why? Because jealous is, uh, it's selfish, unattractive. I, no, I, I, I always thought it would be me who would feel that way. It's me. And that scares you. Yeah. What if, uh, what if something happens to you and I'm not there? Maybe you th think that I won't be there for you. Will you? You think I'll leave you? Well, Barry, if it's that, I can understand that. Help me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not, sometimes I think that. Sometimes I think you'll leave me. Coming? Oh, I hope we can 
tied us up fast. Kid got asthma, wife hadn't slept all week. She can join the club. Yeah, they're thinking about burning down the president's house. They're just kids. Kids with matches. Major! General Canterbury? Is Captain gonna take care of this? Everything's under control, sir. Trouble. I don't know. Could stay like this forever. The longest sit-in in recorded history. No, something always happens. We have some demands. We suggest you pay attention. If your demands are reasonable, I'll be glad they to. They are. We want to talk to President White and to the mayor, and then you cops got to make us a promise. What's that? No bus without fair warning. I can try to... No, no, you have to do better than try. You have to promise. We want to end this the way we started it, peacefully. Son, I'm on your side. I will call Satrum. I will call Vine. Now. Yes, now, young lady. I All I can do is try, but I will promise you one. You'll get plenty of warning before I send my guys in. Do you know what you look like? Huh? You look like some kind of town retard with a water gun. That's what you look like. Hey! Kid. You know what I see when I see that cross on your back? A target. One more move out of you, I'm going to use it. You and you better go home. There's trouble here tonight. And you go in where it's warm, little girl. You hear? I just gotta know that you do that for me. Please. Bobby, go home. Something better than that. Everybody, just be quiet for a minute. Just be quiet. We can stay here. We've asked President White and Mayor Satrum to come hear our demands, and the cops won't bust without fair warning. <laughs> Hey, man. How you doing? <laughs> you got a job to do, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I'll think of you on my next birthday. be able to meet with the students tonight. Well, you tell them that, fella.
you. Young man, you're going to move forward and clear this area. You better be gone. You take all your friends with you. Curfew's not till one. It says so right here. You're in town now. 30 feet. That's 30 feet too far. The town curfew's 8 o'clock. But if we move on campus... Campus curfew's been changed till 11 o'clock. But they don't know that. Do it. sounds. I'm okay, really I am. Well, I don't know, I'm just home being lazy. I mean, I'm studying my French records, but I'm, uh, you know, being lazy. Yeah, I'm okay, really I am. Yeah, sure, I'm eating right. When the world could end, I'd still get my protein. I had a hamburger. I mean, um, a cheeseburger. And, uh, some peas and carrots, and a glass of milk. No, no, no soda. So you see, there's really nothing to worry about. Roxy? I don't know, Dad. I mean, I guess it'll still go on. I mean, I sure hope it does. Uh, with the money and all, you know. Because if they uh, stop the program, you know they say I gotta go to Nam. Yeah. I know, burning it was a terrible thing. But I think I know why. No, the reason why is I gotta end this war, Daddy. Look, um, I better go. I mean, I gotta learn how to say I like French fries in French, and, uh... You ain't on it now. Hold on. 
Hold on, hold on. Look, I love you both, all right? I mean, um, I really love you both. Slept another couple of minutes. Oh, yeah. We did three hours. I didn't sleep at all. Are you not tired? Uh, wired is more like it. Wired. Very good. Is there any food or something? No, I couldn't eat even if there was. We've been in the guard three days. It's always gonna be like last night. You know, I saw this girl get stabbed. I don't know. I keep thinking that if we weren't here, none of this would be happening. I don't see why she had to get hurt like that. I mean, I would have helped her, but she screamed when I tried. Gentlemen, form it up, square the corners. Let's go. Ducks on a line. Sir, don't worry about it, Captain. It's good form. It's your blood going. All right, come on, let's go. Empty those pockets. Get them down. Get them down. Let it out. Come on, let's go. What the hell are you doing? Texas Ranger, get rid of that. Come on, boys, let's go. Move it. Get the blood going. You boys ready? Yes, sir. I said, are you boys ready? Yes, sir. Miller. 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 I said, wake me up. Hey. How was uh, Cincinnati? Well, okay. Yeah? What did your parents say? They said I'm going through a stage. Really? Everybody is miserable at 19, my dad says. I was, your mother was. Yeah, so what'd you say? Yeah, but you're still miserable. My mom made cookies. Damn it, Miller, you're such a slob! 
Wow. Um, I think I'll clean up, okay? Forget it. No, no, really, I will. It's my mess, right? Hey. Hey! Are you still thinking of transferring? Yeah. I just don't know. You think I should? I don't know. Maybe next year you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, you really think so? Stay back. What? Stay, just get back. Paul. Paul, there's a dead sandwich under your bed. Oh. Ah! 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 Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh. Right, Lord. Oh. You realize we probably killed some old lady? Probably. This yours? Better stand back, buddy. And I'm Razi. I don't want that. How long have you been in the guard? Two years. I treat you right? So this is really nothing new to you, huh? I can handle it. And I sure went up easy. Will you stand back? It's cool. I'm back, OK? Where are you from? Ravenna. I'm from the rain. Yeah, I'd probably be in the guard, too, but uh, well, uh, I wanted to go to school. And Rossi's scholarship was the only way I could do it, you know what I mean? You know what I learned in Rossi class last week? Two sticks and a wire. Fastest way to kill a peasant. They teach you that in the guard? I saw this last night. You tell me what it means. Well, it's from the uh, president of the student body and one of the university VPs. Let's see. The governor, through the National Guard, has assumed legal control of the campus in the city of Kent. Does that mean we're under martial law? Well, that's what they all think. But there's something missing. There should be a proclamation from the governor. Ask General Canterbury. But in the mayor's state of emergency, he said the students could have peaceful rallies, That's not right? what Governor Rhodes said. You heard him on the radio. But he didn't sign this. Do me a favor, Lieutenant. Don't ask questions. Danny, just one minute. Did you get it done? Yeah. I never quite get it all done. Let's go. Oh, 
Sharon? Yeah? What is it like being gorgeous? Well, you're gorgeous. I mean, what does it feel like? What do you mean? <laughs> what do I mean? Yeah. Oh, I was just wondering what it must be like not to have to prove yourself all the time. And I thought of you. I feel like I'm always letting people down. I'll tell you books. Why? To help you. I can do it. But you're back. I'll survive. Forget it. No. Are you having your period? No. Okay, I'm very sorry I mentioned it. Carry your own books. You don't have to help me. You're my friend. Storage company's form, you're ready. Thank you, Sergeant. Language is a tool. It is also a gift. Now, uh, uh, right here, right now, this, this Monday morning in Kent, Ohio, we face men whose tools are guns. Uh, now, you swear at a man with a gun, and the man with a gun has a great way of swearing right back at you. Remember that. They are, for the most part, uh, deaf to us, these men. We, we, which doesn't mean give up. It, it means we must guard our gift that much more carefully. Guard it with our lives. <coughs> because it, it can make them hear. It can make them see. Maybe, maybe even understand. And, and we must understand that it can also work powerfully against us. So we have to make our choice. Language is all we have. It's all we need if we use it right and know it for the gift it is. Uh, <clears throat> Today's wisdom is from old Gus Flaubert. Uh, language. Language is like a cracked pot on which we beat out rhythms for bears to dance to. When we are striving to make music that will wring tears from the stars. Power to the people. Seem orderly enough. Now, sir. The last and maybe the tear gas knocked some sense into them. Oh, no, sir. I wasn't asking what you know. What do you think, Captain? The regulations talk about restraint, sir. As long as we keep them in line. I think we should be prepared, sir. Just be prepared. Good day, good day. 
You'll meet the victory bell at exactly 11.58, okay? I gotcha. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I slept like a pretzel last night. Oh. Oh, thank you. I got gas last night, Allison. Me too. Yeah, only you liked it. Liked it? Yeah, because it was for something you cared about. I was just standing by my window. Oh. Don't you care? Yeah, I know I'm supposed to care, but... It's just like... Maybe I'm just too selfish. Hey, I'm selfish. Come on. No, really. And and Barry is too. And it's funny that you should say it, because you know, I was sort of thinking about it, about being selfish. And it's like, when you love someone, your two selfishnesses sort of flow together, right? Um, <laughs> Am I being completely weird? No, no. No. <laughs> no, it's like out of that is born passion. Oh. Um, really? To your guess makes me crazy. <laughs> Maybe I'm just lonely. <laughs> Are you coming to the rally? I'm scared. Oh Not to mention exhausted. Listen, I don't have a class this afternoon, so I thought maybe I'd stay in. No, no, maybe, definitely. Uh, talk to the kid, read great expectations or something. Just sit tight, okay? Rally's band? Hard to tell what they know, sir. if Agamemnon's troops had tear gas, there'd have been no Trojan War.
sweep the commons to the southeast and drive them all across the top of Blanket Hill, past the Dakota. We'll disperse them, sir, and clear the area to the top of the hill. That's right. And Major, before we step off, we'll fire a barrage of tear gas. Yes, sir. They can hurt us. We have the peace, not the war, right? <laughs> against those kids. They're congregated illegally. But they don't know it, sir. All rallies are banned. According to whom? Look, that's a peaceful rally. It's... it's... They're going to have to learn what law and order is all about. Look, most of those kids are on their way to the noon class. The bells just rang. Tonight, so great. Get this thing on. If anything happens, it will. Just make sure nobody tries to be a hero.
Okay, they stopped. Let's stay cool now. Let's just try to stay cool. It's over. Come on, y'all. Come through here. It's almost over. Come on, it's all right. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, little girl. You don't worry about nothing, okay? Lieutenant. Okay, all right. Okay, just go over there. Sit down. Captain, the general wants us to continue the advance. Where the hell to? Down the hill to the practice field. There's hardly anyone there. Those were his orders, sir. Drive them down the hill. Now we've got the area under control. Those were his orders.
going to Kim Clark. All right, then this one's for you. This one's for all of us. Yeah, it's not it's not Coming back to the house for dinner tonight? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll be back by 11. Right. See you later. Take care. Let's get the side class out. I won't be ready for the comprehension. Oh, but can we go home now? Hi, boy. Bye-bye, Piggy. Bye. Come back and see you around. <laughs>
I shoot? Did I shoot some kid? Well, you fired him yet. I'm hit, Barry. Let's get out of here. Just be cool, okay? They were gonna kill us, weren't they? Weren't they gonna kill us? Everybody started shooting. Oh, Carl. Get over the hill! Come on, come on, come on. try to get up, try to get up, breathe easy. It wasn't us, man. Uh, uh. 
Oh, my God. Look what they've done! Murderers! Look what they've done to us! Murderers! 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 Over here! They get out! They're coming. They're coming, Ali. Ali, baby, Ali. Ali, baby. Baby, I love you. killed here this afternoon. They are not going to get up and walk again. Yeah. Now don't, please, don't lie, please. Come back, please.
We have got to have a little time. Well, we have to find out what law and order means. Gentlemen, give us time. Five minutes.
Let your love 